even then the album didn't really sell. And then about 10 years later, 10 to 12 years later, people started to talk about it. It was quite extraordinary. And it gradually started to gather momentum, to gather sales. People like, first of all, Paul Weller uh, in, in the UK, when the jam had three, um, three singles, including the number one single in the, in the top 10 in the UK, um, he said that this was his favorite album of all time. And that's something that he said again this year. Um, so he's, he, 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 he actually buys copies of this record for people that haven't got any. So I'll give you his address afterwards. <laughs> um, but, um, and then people from the dear lady departed, uh, Tom Petty, to Dave Grohl, to many independent bands, really right up until um, Portugal, the man that just had a number one single. Um, and, and it sort of goes on and on and on. Um, and, spoken about this, it sells more every year now than it ever did when it first came out, which is pretty incredible. So we would like to do um, just a mini set of four songs. We're going to start with the song that Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters said um, on the Scandinavian TV programme, well, was a song that changed his life. It's the first track from the Odyssey and Oracle album, it's called Care of Cell 44.